So if we used an oscilloscope to measure across the two terminals of the sensor, we would see a flat line at zero volts. Now, if we rotate the tooth wheel, we see the tooth begin to intercept one side of the magnetic flux lines. OK, so we can see that we have that typical sine wave pattern being produced. We have the engine running at idle speed, which means the amplitude and the frequency should remain pretty much the same. Now, if we increase the RPM, what you will see is an increase in amplitude and frequency. And we can see that happening now. So to carry out this test, I'll set my multimeter to measure resistance. Then I'll connect the red and black probe across the terminals of the sensor. OK, I have a resistance reading of 394 ohms. I'm happy with that reading as it's within the manufacturer's specification for this vehicle. 